Welcome to our sharing on how you can kickstart your journey to becoming an early childhood educator. I'm Jonathan from the National Institute of Early Childhood Development, or NIC in short, and we will be sharing with you an overview of the early childhood sector and more about who we are, our causes, and the training that you will undergo to be an early childhood educator. Lastly, we will also be providing you with instructions on how you can get connected with us during our consultation sessions. So let us begin with more about the early childhood sector. Quality early childhood education is vital to providing children with a good start and a chance to succeed in life. This was emphasized by PM Lee during the 2017 National Day Rally. There has indeed been a growing demand for quality early childhood education in Singapore, as it is seen as the crucial first step that can impact our children's lives and shape their future. To further emphasize this point, you would have noticed that the government has a strong interest in the early childhood sector, as seen from these articles about the growing job opportunities and the review of salary and working conditions for educators. Moving on, you would notice that Singapore's early childhood landscape comprises preschools that may be categorized into the following groups. We have the government-supported operators, made up of anchor operators, or AOPs in short, and partner operators, or POPs, who are funded to provide good quality and affordable services. Next would be the MOE kindergartens, or MKs, and we have also preschools who are operated by social service agencies with a social mission. And of course, the preschools owned by private commercial operators who generally cater for middle to higher income families. So why join the early childhood sector? Well, if you are keen to make a positive difference in the lives of our children, look no further. Join a profession that impacts the lives of our future generation where you would also get a sense of meaning and purpose which cannot be replicated in other jobs. With growing recognition in Singapore, early childhood educators can now look forward to a competitive pay and good career prospects. In terms of career prospects, there are many career progression opportunities within and beyond a preschool, as shown in this progression chart. Through the various continuing professional development courses and post-diploma courses offered at NIEC, educators can pick up the necessary competencies and qualifications needed to progress onto other pathways. For more information, visit NIEC's webpage or ACDA's Shape Our Tomorrow webpage. In addition, the early childhood sector is growing and you are certainly needed. In fact, the 23,000 strong early childhood workforce would require over 3,500 more educators by 2025, as Singapore's need for quality preschool services rises. So know this, you are needed. Now that you have learned a bit more about the early childhood sector and why you should join us, let's find out more about NIC and our courses. To do so, I'm going to invite my friend Desiree to share with you about it. Hi, I'm Desri. Now, let me tell you more about NIEC. NIEC is the National Training Institute set up by the Ministry of Education. We serve the national need for quality teachers by providing quality training and professional development for them at every stage of their career. We do so by working closely with the Early Childhood Development Agency, ACTA, and with MOE to ensure that we have a robust and well-designed curriculum which is up-to-date and aligned with the evolving needs of the sector. This means that after you graduate and become a preschool teacher, you can still continue your learning journey by taking courses with us. Our lessons are held at four campuses and adult learners can choose to go to NIEC City, Nian Polytechnic or Tomasic Polytechnic campus. No matter which campus, students can expect authentic and relevant quality training conducted by our team of experienced lecturers who also mentor them towards developing important attributes or what NIEC calls a desired graduate profile, where students learn how to be a reflective practitioner, a relationship builder and a resilient learner. Attributes we feel are important to have for a meaningful and rewarding career as an early childhood educator. 
Moving on to the courses we offer, we recommend that you choose one based on your highest qualifications and the age group you like to teach. If you have completed Secondary 4 and attained SOA 5 in Workplace Literacy, the Advanced Certificate in Early Years or ACUI is for you. In this course, you will learn about the Early Years Development Framework, which will guide you to provide responsive care for children from birth to three years old. You will learn to plan meaningful play activities for children and get to practice what you have learned in class through the three practicums done at an EGDA licensed childcare centre. Upon graduation, you will be qualified to become an EY2 educator who can care for children aged two months to three years old. If you have at least three O-level credits, including English, consider the Advanced Certificate in Early Childhood Care and Education, or ACSE. In this course, you will learn historical and current perspectives of early childhood education and appropriate strategies to work with children up to four years old. Upon graduation, you will be qualified to become an L1 educator who can teach children aged 18 months to four years old. Finally, if you have five O-level credits, you may qualify for the Diploma in Early Childhood Care and Education Teaching or DESITY. Those with a three-year local polytechnic diploma or a state-recognized degree can go for density conversion. You will also be glad to know that ACEY, density, and density conversion are offered in Chinese for those who wish to be Chinese early childhood educators. The diploma courses allow you to delve deeper into the principles and practices of early childhood education, where you will learn how to implement learning experiences for typical and atypical children up to six years old, all while strengthening home and community partnerships. The course will also include three practicums in preschools. When you graduate, you will be able to teach children aged 18 months to six years old. Now, you may be wondering, what's the difference between density and density conversion? Well, apart from the different entry requirements, the density conversion has a shorter duration. However, do note that the schedule may be more intensive. But no matter which diploma you take, you will learn the same content and will be able to teach children aged 18 months to 6 years old. Now that you have heard about our courses, the next step is to pick a suitable schedule. We offer day, night, and half-day classes. In addition to classes, do, no, do note that you will need to undergo practicums at an EGDA licensed preschool. These practicums are scheduled alongside regular class times and will be on non-class days. You will receive a detailed schedule upon successful admission. So, how do you apply for our courses? Well, here's how. There are two ways. For company sponsorship, you should secure employment with a preschool operator and get your training sponsored by your employers. Alternatively, you may choose to be self-sponsored by applying directly for our courses and funding your course on your own. If you are a Singaporean or PR, we recommend that you apply through WSG's Career Conversion Program or CCP. CCP is for mid-career individuals to undergo skills conversion and move into new occupations or sectors that have good prospects and opportunities for progression like the early childhood sector. Candidates looking to be under CCP will need to be 21 years and above, have graduated or completed national service for at least two years and be employed by an EGDA licensed preschool. Here's how you can get started. First, secure employment and sponsorship as a trainee educator and an EGDA licensed preschool. Upon doing so, you can apply for our courses within six months of being hired. You will have your course sponsored and you will also be receiving a monthly salary from your employer. Do note that some preschools may require you to complete a bond after graduation. Of course, you can also choose to go for self-sponsorship if CCP is not available or if you do not wish to be bonded to a preschool. Our courses are heavily subsidized, especially for Singaporeans and PRs. You may also tap on your PSEA, Skills Future Credit, and or UTAP to offset your course fees. Find out more at our website, www.niec.edu.sg. Now, let me hand over the time to my colleague, Alan, who will share about our training. Hi, I'm Alan. Now that you know more about NIC and our courses, 
Let's find out more about the training that you would undergo during the course with this video. Hello, my name is Akina. Hi, I'm Trishna. Hi, my name is Sophia. What's your name? My name is Jaden. I'm here for the job interview for a preschool teacher. Yes, I know. Do you know what a preschool teacher does? A preschool teacher teaches children like you. We will teach them how to talk, how to balance. We also help to make sure that you eat well and drink lots of water. So where did you study to become a preschool teacher? I was working before this and then I joined NIEC. I studied at NIEC after completing my O-levels. What have you learned there? I learned many different ways to teach children to read, count, draw, understand each other's feelings. As well as something fun, we'll teach them how to balance. When you run, when you walk, it's balancing of the body. Oh, do you know we also learn how to sing and dance? We use different musical instruments like the bells, the tamarind, the maracas, and we create music through that. Do you like games? Yes! yes. We play games ourselves. We learn how to teach children how to jump, skip, throw, run, zigzag. We also learn how to make these games safe and fun for everyone. So what else do you learn? We learn how to make lessons interesting as well as grab the attention. For example, I'll use a bell and when I ring the bell, all the children will turn and look at me. This is one of the ways that we made learning fun for children. This sensory bag is what we use to teach them writing. Wow, interesting right? And very! Do you get to meet children as well? Yes, I don't just stay in the classroom. I go to different preschools and make friends with children like you. We also go on field trips. We go to the parks or the zoo. We learn about nature, we learn about animals and we see how we can apply it in the classroom. Do you take care of babies too? Some of us do, but taking care of infants is not easy. We have to learn how to feed and bathe infants and how to test the temperature of the milk. That's more than changing diapers. Sounds very difficult. Did your family ask you to be a teacher? No, they did not. But I love children and I want to teach them the right values from young. Are your families excited for you to start school? Yes. Can my family come to class? Um, I don't think so. Then how do they know what I'm doing? Well, teachers learn how to update your family on how you're doing in class and what's the best way for us to chat with them. Like using the phone? Yes, we can use phones or we can also meet your families in real life. So, are you ready to be a preschool teacher? I'm more than ready to. Do I pass the interview? Do I pass the interview? As you saw in the video, our lessons are much more than lectures and tutorials. Our students get to experience hands-on training, from infant care practice to music and movement classes. Let's not forget practicum in preschools, where you will put theory to practice in a real classroom setting. Lessons aside, you will be accessed based on individual or group assignments, class presentations and common tests for some modules. This is to help ensure you have the right skills and knowledge to provide holistic learning experiences for the little ones. It's natural to ask these questions and wonder, what are the qualities needed for this profession? Well, the following are some qualities needed to strive as an early childhood educator. Firstly, you will need the enthusiasm to learn and work with others. You will want to care for others and have good values and social skills. You should certainly love interacting with children and have that desire to give every child a good start. So if you think you have the above, you could possibly be the preschool teacher who will bring smiles to the lives of the children under your care. And the good news is that mid-careerists like yourself do not need prior ESA experience to start. What you need is the right attitude and passion. Apart from meeting the entry requirements for our courses, you will also need to have the passion to nurture and bring out the best in young children and should be fit enough to keep up with the little ones since you will need to run around with them and even squat and stand for long hours. Do not belittle yourself. You bring along transferable skills that you have picked up such as leadership competencies, time management skills, 
and the ability to make sound judgments and decisions. As preschool teachers, you will play a key role in caring for the little ones, inspiring their learning and helping them grow. If you are inspired to join the sector and wish to find out more, get in touch with us. You can do so by joining us at our consultation sessions. More details on this can be found in the video description. We have come to the end of our sharing. Feel free to drop us an email if you have any inquiries. Also, follow us on our social media platforms to get updates on courses and more.